A dreadful scene unfolds in Southern California after a mass shooting leaves at least 14 people dead and 17 others injured. Yeah, it was, it was like right here. Boom, 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 boom. They're on the loose. And, yeah, and uh, I was right I behind the building and I heard all the shots. At around 11 in the morning, police say one to three armed suspects enters the Inland Regional Center, a social services facility in San Bernardino, and opens fire. What I'm hearing is um, there was, we had a, um, an event that was hosted in our auditorium and, and uh, I guess the shooting happened in there. Um, from what I've heard, fortunately, no IRC employees were, were killed, um, but it's still unfortunate for everyone else um, that was there at the time. The center is a massive facility employing several hundred people. Paliqua's son is one of them. He says that the alarms went off and they were all told to, to hunker down and hide and shelter in place. And uh, he says then eventually the police came by, took them out. He never heard any gunshots or anything like that. Police secure the scene, evacuating people to a safe area. The suspect or suspects have escaped. The suspects uh, have fled, uh, potentially in a dark colored SUV. We do not have any identification on who those suspects are. We do not know what the motive is for the shooting at this point. They're moving in now. Later this afternoon, a SWAT team chases down an SUV in San Bernardino, and there's a gun battle. At least one person inside the SUV is dead, but police haven't confirmed much more than that. They do say the suspects came prepared as if they were on a mission. Police believe they were carrying long guns. We have no information at this point to indicate that this is terrorist related in the traditional sense that people may be thinking. Obviously, at minimum, we have a domestic terrorist type situation that occurred here. Police find suspicious items inside the center and call in the bomb squad. This is an active situation as police continue to look for other suspects and a community tries to understand why they were a target. Monica, obviously this is a situation that continues to develop. What's the latest? Stacy, police believe three suspects were in the car. One, as we mentioned, died in the shootout. There are unconfirmed reports that a second suspect was injured and another appears to have escaped. Police are now actively looking for that suspect and are warning people to avoid the area. The county sheriff says an officer on scene was wounded and is now recovering with non-life-threatening injuries. This is still very much an active situation with new information coming every hour as police try to eliminate any remaining threats.